Hey, this is Christina DeWayne, and we are on the KC Riverwalk in West Columbia, South Carolina. And we're going to show you this beautiful tour today of this uh, Riverwalk. Come join us. It's a beautiful day. The weather's like 70. Another beautiful Carolina day. Typically, they give tours out here. I don't think they've opened the tours up just yet. These are wetlands. Oh, look at that. That's neat. Somebody like a gator. carved this into a gator. you see off in the distance and we're going to get a better photo of it when we or pictures of it when we get closer is the old train trestle By 1785, Granby was a flourishing village located about three miles down river from where Columbia was later established. It had become the county seat for the newly established Lexington County and at least 12 stores and a tobacco inspection station. With the growth of the new state capital across the river, the new the town began, the to, town st began to stagnate. By 1805, business had de declined as cotton displaced tobacco and the, and the county seat was moved to a more... Central location. This sign is very hard to read. It's old. Yeah. Oh, these are. And that was the uh, map, the old map of Granby. All right. A milestone was one of a series of numbered markers placed along a road or other type of boundary at intervals of one mile or occasionally part of a mile. These stone markers indicated either the distance traveled or the remaining distance to a dis destination. Excuse me. The markers were alternately known as mile markers, mile post, or mile post. The milestones that are along the river trail are spaced at quarter mile intervals. Uh, yet another good example of another wood carving. Very interesting. Looks like he might have lost an ear. Looks like it's been replaced though. And looks like one of our native species, a red fox. Pretty cool how they incorporate this wood. Alright, this is a little bit of history on the trestles we were just looking at. Between 1842 and 1920, Columbia was the state's railroad hub and Gervais Street was the focal point of rail transport south of Blossom Street Bridge. Norfolk Southern and CSX rail lines across the Congaree River connecting Columbia and Casey. The Norfolk Southern Bridge 
located closest to you, was built in 1902 and was renovated in 2000 and is approximately 1,200 feet long. The second railroad bridge, which is farther down river, is managed by CSX Rail Line. Its name stands for Chessie Seaboard and many times more, which represents many earlier mergers. Built in 1947, the current bridge, CSX S361.90, is 896 feet long. CSX predecessor, Seaboard Airline Railway, built the concrete pier beneath the bridge in 1900. The piers are built on wooden pilings. Again, that's the Norfolk Southern Railroad Bridge. Looking upriver, the one on the top, and then the CSX Railroad Bridge looking downriver, which is the picture on the bottom. Nice little. Oh, cool. That is the trellis we were just looking at. There's a, a better view of it right there. anything at all for flooding but a little duck taking a taking a break down there guess he's tired yeah they're both sleeping This is a really a beautiful walk on a pretty day, folks. Y'all are looking for free things to do. This is a great free thing to do. It is absolutely beautiful out here. Big, beautiful old trees. Yeah, that's a huge tree. Yeah, that's a big tree. Great place, as you see, great places to fish out here. This would be a great place to fish right here, huh? Yeah. This is a great place to fish. Go down that trail on the other side, back over there, come down. Oh yeah, I foresee some fishing in my future. Nice little areas. What you think so far, hon? Good? This is absolutely beautiful. I love this. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the great thing about this uh, boardwalk, too. You're in nature, but you're not in nature. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yes. This is the marker that this was referring to. Granite marker. Side of Granby laid out 1735, seat of Lexington County 1785 to 1798, seat of Lexington District 1804 to 1821, visited by George Washington in 1791. Erected by Columbia Committee, South Carolina Society, Colonial Danes of America, 1929. Hi, thank you for joining us on our adventure today at Riverwalk in Casey, South Carolina. If you like our video, 
please smash that like button and subscribe. And we'll see you on our next adventure.